Patches, and today I'm going to be doing a Q&A. Recently I put one of those ask me a question things on my Instagram story, so I'm going to check out what you guys ask me now. What's your favorite thing about working for Disney? The snacks. What's the best thing about having Mabel? The companionship of me. She always leaves me wanting more. How do you balance the eight hours of work with personal work and life? Barely. I mean, the simple answer is that it's really difficult. I have my 40 hours of work, and then when I get home, I work on my personal art, and I put up YouTube videos every week, and I have a fashion blog, and I work out every morning before work. So I guess the answer would be that I just don't sleep much. I think the best way to balance everything in my life is that I kind of schedule everything for myself. Can I apply to an animation company fresh out of college, or should I gain experience first? You can totally apply to an animation studio straight out of college. The only way you're gonna gain experience in animation is if you work in animation, so. I want a French Bulldog so much my parents don't want one. What should I do? I mean, if you're living in your parents' house, it's kind of up to them. Just do research on them now, and then by the time you're older and you have your own place, you can get one and you'll be all ready for it. What is the most challenging aspect of painting environments? The amount of layers that go into painting environments. Where does your art motivation come from? I want to draw, drawing makes me happy, and I always want to keep drawing and keep improving, and I want to be the best that I can be. What are your biggest inspirations? Specific artists who I really love. I really love Helen Chen's work. She is a visual development artist. Corey Loftus, he's another visual development artist. Shun Kim, Miku Lee, Bobby Pontius, and I love following anyone who does fan art. I really love Birch Bug. She used to do lots of Harry Potter fan art. Heather Campbell, who is Makani online. Her art is just incredible. She still does really cool fan art. Boyfriend, I have a fiance. As of a couple months ago, he proposed. <laughs> we do Photoshop time lapses again. Yeah, I'll definitely do more speed paints in the future. When's your birthday and what's your favorite movie? My birthday is June 14th, which is Flag Day. My favorite movie, favorite animated movie, I might have to say Spirited Away or Howl's Moving Castle or Princess Mononoke. Or CG animated, Tangled is definitely my favorite. My favorite live action movie is 500 Days of Summer. How did you learn art basics such as composition, light, anatomy, if you didn't go to art school? You can find lots of resources online. In college, I took a photography class and that's how I learned composition. Just kind of like the rule of thirds. Basically all I know about composition. For light and anatomy, just drawing from life, just drawing and painting what you see trains your eye. I made a video on tips for beginner artists, which kind of goes over what I'm talking about right now. I will link that video down below. What are your thoughts on John Lasser leaving due to Me Too accusations? I am super proud of the women who came forward and stood up for themselves, and I'm excited to see where the studio goes with the new people in charge. How often do you create a new layer when drawing digitally? I make new layers for everything. I like to keep everything very clean and organized. It's nice to have everything separate so I can easily make edits. I have a Wake Mentos and I find that I'm having a hard time getting perfect lines and curves. I'm gonna make a line art tutorial for this. For getting nice lines and curves, use your whole arm instead of just your wrist. What advice would you give to aspiring animators? Put in the work. Did you ever take fine art classes? If you did, how did you feel when starting out? My college only had fine art classes. It didn't have like illustration or animation. It only had the typical drawing a bowl of fruit. I think when I was starting out, I was probably pretty bored by that. I like making my own characters and doing things for my imagination and just drawing a bowl of fruit just wasn't exciting to me. That's what I remember from my first fine art classes. Suggestions for amateur artists. Yes, there's a whole video I made on that. Tips for beginner artists, I will link that down below. There are so many questions. I'm just gonna have to start scrolling through and selecting them randomly, so I'm sorry if I missed your question. What are your favorite and least favorite things to draw? My favorite thing to draw are girls. I love drawing women. I don't know what my least favorite thing to draw is. Vehicles. Was digital art difficult for you at first? Yeah, I sucked. What is your favorite part about your Frenchie? Her butt. Look how cute it is! What's your biggest artist pet peeve? Oh, my biggest artist pet peeve is when I'm drawing on Photoshop and I make a new layer and I'm drawing something and then I undo and it switches back to the last layer and then I start painting again and I'm painting on the wrong layer. Do you get where I'm going with this? What was your earliest interaction with art? As soon as I could hold a pencil, I was drawing. In kindergarten, I was telling people I was gonna be a professional artist. I think the earliest thing I remember drawing was Zelda. How was it to move to a new city for your job? Exciting, I love it here. Where's Mabel? She's right here. What are your favorite cartoon shows that you haven't worked on? Lots of anime series. SpongeBob, Avatar, The Last Airbender, Legend of Korra, Adventure Time. 
What do you use to make your digital art? Tablets, art programs, etc. I made a whole video on all my digital art supplies. I will link that down below. I want to start drawing backgrounds, but it seems very overwhelming. Advice on how to start. Use references. They're all from life. Environments can be a lot easier than character design. You don't have to think about anatomy. You just have to force yourself to start doing it, and then it will get a lot less scary. Favorite color? Green. Last anime series you watched? Charlotte. It started out cute, got very dark. It was super good. Would you like to get another puppy? Yeah. For your portfolio, should you be like a jack of all trades or specialize in something? Definitely specialize in something. You don't want to look like you don't know what you want to do. Just focus on one thing that you really want to do and that you're most passionate about. What's your favorite Disney classic animation movie? Um, Lion King. What's your Hogwarts or Ilvermorny house? My Hogwarts house is Gryffindor. Ilvermorny? I can't remember. I took the quiz, but I don't remember what the houses are anymore. What role do you work at Disney TV? I'm a background painter on Tangle the Series. What was the thing that held you back the most when starting out? Not knowing anyone. I didn't have any connections out here. Since I didn't go to art school, I didn't have those networking opportunities. So that was a bit of a challenge for me. Thinking of one more dog, would you choose a pug? No! I'm a lot more into French Bulldogs, English Bulldogs, American Bulldogs, Boxers, Pit Bulls, dogs. Do you live alone? No, I live with my fiance and my pepperino. How can I get a job at Disney? It is my dream job. I think the best advice I can give for this is to expand your horizons. I mean, for me, I knew that I wanted to draw and get paid for it. It doesn't really matter where you are to do that. So figure out what you want to actually do that will make you happy. Artists jump around a lot in animation, so don't just limit yourself to the one studio. What's your Frenchies account? My Frenchies Instagram account is Mabel.the.frenchie. Best part about working at Disney? Still the snacks. How do you brush your teeth? With a toothbrush. What color are your eyes? Hazel, I think? What do I do if I have the chance to go to art school? Seriously, consider if you can pay for it because most of my friends who have gone to art school will be in debt for a very long time. Why did you get Mabel? I was kind of obsessing over a French Bulldog for a while. They have really wacky personalities. Plus she is lazy, doesn't need a lot of exercise, and she's very quiet. So I knew she'd be perfect for sneaking into work. Is the who you know more than the what you know true for making it into animation? I didn't know anyone and I got into animation, so if you want to be an artist in the animation, your art has to be really good, regardless of who you know. Any tips for getting out of an art block and finding motivation? If you're in an art block, just take a break. Take a few days off, just rest, don't think about art. When you feel like making art again, you'll be ready. What age did you start working at Disney? I think I was 22 or 23. I think it's good to have your own drawing style or just make your style what your clients want. With your own artwork, don't try to limit yourself to one style or you're going to be blocking your growth as an artist because as you improve as an artist, your style is definitely going to change. Experiment a lot. Why are you so awesome? Yeah, I'm not, I just pretend to be on the internet. How did you get your job at Disney? Watch my video, how I got a job at Disney. I'm 25 years old, is it too late to start a career in animation? No, it's never too late, age is just a number. People start at all different times in animation. What's your favorite TV show? My, mm, mm, oh I love talking about TV. Parks and Rec, The Office, Arrested Development, Silicon Valley, Teen Wolf, Vampire Diaries, Shadowhunters. I watch a lot of TV. If you could work with any animator, who would it be? Glenn Keane. Is art school necessary to work in animation? Nope. I didn't go to art school. Have you ever French kissed Mabel? Every kiss is a French kiss if you're kissing a Frenchie. <laughs> I'm tired of you right now. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm sorry I woke you up. Favorite breakfast cereal? Reese's Puffs or Cinnamon Toast Crunch? It's just good. How excited are you for Fantastic Beast 2 and will you do any fan art? I am so excited. I am so pumped. I love Fantastic Beast. I love anything in the Harry Potter universe. I see myself doing fan art, especially in the future when the Dumbledore, Grindelwald relationship is revealed. From the interviews I've seen, that's going to be a like reveal in a later movie. I wish it was gonna be in the Fantastic Beasts 2, but I do understand there's five movies. So I'm hoping this is just kind of a build up and a reveal later. That is all the questions I have time for. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye.